I'm Dr. Joe Ogile, the CEO and founder of Clayton Sleep Institute in St. Louis, Missouri. So alcohol and sleep are a very interesting and common topic to discuss, and I'm glad that we're having a chance to discuss it today. So alcohol is frequently used by folks who have trouble sleeping because they perceive it to have a sleep improving effect, or we would call a soporific effect, when in reality, it does give you some sedation. However, it is dose dependent and there's tolerance associated with it. So it's a very poor sleep aid because to continue to get the effect of sedation, you have to use more and more alcohol, putting you at risk for addiction and certainly for tolerance. Beyond that, it's a very poor sleep aid because about four hours after you ingest alcohol, it becomes irritating or, or neurotoxic to your brain, which is one of the reasons why you wake up after you've been drinking uh, in the evening or drinking heavily, and you'll wake up early in the middle of the night or early in the morning when you don't wanna be up. And so this is, it's a poor sleep aid at multiple levels. And the sleep quality that you get with alcohol on board is quite poor and disrupted. So alcohol as a sleep aid is not a good choice. And if you feel the need to use alcohol as a sleep aid, I'd encourage you to talk to your healthcare provider and have a discussion about why that might be something you're interested in so that better choices could be made for you and with you. For more information on Clayton Sleep Institute and sleep information, please go to our website at claytonsleep.com or look me up and Clayton Sleep Institute up on LinkedIn. Follow us and we'll try to share great sleep information with you as fast as we can.